Hi Libra, this is your 2019 year in advanced reading. Okay, if you're new to my readings, I um, shuffle the deck before I start the recording and I cut the deck in front of you. So let's go ahead and get the deck cut. Okay. So the deck is the deck has been cut. <laughs> All right, so this is a general reading for all Libras, okay? I'm going to go ahead and put out four cards for the first trimester and second trimester, fourth trimester, just from the top. So I'm going to go ahead and do this January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August. Okay, September, October, November, and December, okay? Now, this is 2019 for Libra, but Libra, this is for all Libras, okay? So if it's your sun is Libra, your moon, your rising, or your ascendant is Libra, um, this is for you. It's very generalized for all Libras. Now, because of that, it's not going to make 100% 100% sense to all Libras, okay? There will be a lot of it that's like, uh-huh, okay, I get it, yeah. And there's going to be some of it that's like, yeah, I don't think so. And the reason that's happening is because not every single one of you are in the same position. Not every single one of you are in the same aspect of life or doing the same things. So, if you love the reading, once it's finished and you want your own reading for you only, you're going to need to get a reading only for you, okay? This way it's directed exactly to you. It's not for all of your sun sign or all of the moon sign or whatever, you see? Now, if you are not a moon, a sun, or a rising ascendant or ascendant, Libra, but your child is one, or your spouse, or your friend, or your parents, or something along that line, you're free to watch this video, okay? You could watch all of the videos of the whole series if you want, and it's totally fine, okay? All right, now that we've got all of that out of the way, let's go ahead and start the reading, okay? All right, so we have January 2019, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull him over here. And over here, we're going to read him. So this way we can get close up, you see. Okay. The key word for January is breath. Have you stopped and taken a breath? You just got out of a hectic holiday season, Libra. Have you stopped to actually take a breath or have you just gone full blast into the new year? I'm hoping you've stopped to just relax, stopped and taken a breath. Have you sat in a bubble bath? Have you gone and got have you gone to get a petty or a mani? What have you done to take care of yourself so far this month? What is your plan to take care of yourself this month? And then honestly, what's your plan to take care of yourself for the rest of the year? Do you have any plans? Are you neglecting yourself? Okay, so let's take a look at the picture. We have a plain valley, right? A meadow. And there's something going on right here. Do you see this? And there's nothing there. It looks to me like it's been iced over. But it's not water in my opinion. What about your opinion? Do you think it looks like water? To me, it looks like a layer or a very thick layer of ice on what used to be some grass. Okay, so in this forest meadow, we used to have some beautiful flowers growing, but then something happened and there's a layer of frost on the ground, right? So why, why did something, why did it freeze? Why was it neglected? Exactly what I was telling you. Okay, so let's take a look at the trees for a minute also. Here in what is supposed to be the past, I'm just going to grab this card for a minute, okay? 
This is the December 2019 card, but if it was December 2018, do you see how 2018 December comes into 2019? Okay, so we come into the month kind of dying out because of all of the brownness of this, tre this tree's leaves. And then we start to revive ourselves, right? We start to revive. It starts becoming green. So if we were to watch nature, it would be fall. The leaves are falling. They're turning colors. They're falling. It's autumn. The branches are bare. Then the branches get buds. And then the branches bloom, right? Leaves and flowers. Well, we've missed the bud part in here. Do you see? Why did you not take some time to be in the bud part? So we went into full bloom of leaves. And then they're kind of turning colors again, right? They're getting pale again. They're turning yellow. It looks like they're trying to get sick. Are you taking care of yourself, Libra? Or are you starting to get sick in the middle of the month? And then we've got them going green again. And then it's still kind of green, but it's kind of a weird green. And then it's a dark green. Do you see this? So taking this all into effect, something is, this land is frozen over. The trees are going from fall into spring, into maybe sickness, into spring, into summer, winter. They've just rushed right through the cycle. They haven't taken time to actually bloom. They haven't taken time to rest. And this is what this card is telling you. You haven't taken time to rest. Put everything aside. Be chill. Freeze. Don't move. Rest. Okay? Now, let's see what February has in store for you. February 2019. And again, I'm moving him over here. Strength is the key word. Okay, Libra. <laughs> January wore you out because you kept rushing and doing the next thing and the next thing and not actually taking any time for yourself, right? If you stop and you take some time for yourself, you will recharge yourself. This will give you strength. If not, you're going to wear yourself out. So in February, you're coming out of the forest. You see this? You're coming out of the forest and you're going to go across a very emotional time. The water is telling me that it's going to be very emotional. This is going to make you have to climb up the mountains. You need to have strength to be able to get up these mountains. This uphill struggle. This climb to the top. Okay? If you did not rest in January. And there's still time for you to rest, okay? If you did not rest in January... You're going to wear yourself out. You're going to still have the strength to do it, but you're going to wear yourself out. All right. Now let's take a look in here because I'm seeing some things in here. When I get closer in, I don't see it anymore. Hold on. Let me get a little closer in. And then I'm going to come back out and I'm going to see if you can see it. Because it's kind of strange. Okay, but right here I can see it again. Okay, I'm going to switch hands so I can use my finger to show you. Right here. That looks to me like the Sphinx. The head of the Sphinx. We could say that this and this is maybe one of his arms. Okay? If we go Sphinx and the lion body, he might have been turned around over here and here's his hind leg. Okay? But this particular hand right here also looks to me like it's holding a smaller hand okay so the sphinx a lot of people will say it has to do with like being on guard watching right it's the god um the guard dog i have also heard a lot about it being spiritual about it being um like enlightenment okay so we're gonna say that there's something you need to be watching out for during this struggle that you're going to have in february but because I keep seeing that that hand holding another hand, I think you're going to need to be protecting your children. Protecting somebody who's smaller than you. Somebody who's younger than you during this struggle. Okay? Now take a look at the fog. The fog and the clouds are, gonna send me, are meaning that it's hidden. The situation that's causing this is hidden. 
You don't know for sure who's causing it. You don't know for sure why it's being ha why it's happening. Okay? But the fog and also the clouds are associated with your thoughts. And I'm going to say they're associated with water emotions. So your struggle is going to be a very emotional struggle. It's going to be associated with the way you're thinking, with the way you're reacting to emotions. You're going to need to be protecting somebody, taking care of somebody during the struggle so that way it doesn't overwhelm them. Okay? Let's take this one and put it back and go to March. And for March, we have completion. So the first thing I see is, of course, the full moon. But this tree is up on a mountain. Okay? The tree is all by itself. The tree looks to be, we can't tell for sure because we're getting a shadow pretty much of the tree. Um, the shadow aspect of the tree, not a shadow of the tree. The shadow aspect of the tree. We're not seeing it fully in like day under bright circumstances. We're seeing it at night where we can't see what color it is and all of that sort of thing. Okay, so that's what I mean by the shadow of the tree. But it's on a mountain and it's by itself and it looks to be pretty healthy. Which means... <laughs> If we tie in the tree aspect from over here, right, that tree had a chance to rest. We tie in the struggle of going uphill. This tree has made it uphill. It's resting. That whole situation is over now. You see? Now, the full moon means completion, but it also is intuition, your gut instincts. And most likely, because I think 99% of you are females, your feminine intuition, okay? So this tree is growing because you understand your intuition. You're willing to accept your intuition. And even when everything else is dark around you and you don't know for sure what's going on, you can always trust that intuition, okay? All right, next. We have April 2019, and we have the full moon again. And our key word is communication. So we've got this man sitting on a cliff. He's gone up the mountain to the very, very top of the mountain, to the cliffs of the mountain, okay? And he's sitting down communicating with this eagle. Eagles are often, often associated with spirituality, and the moon, again, is intuition. So what is this card telling you? This card is telling you, Libra, that you need to seriously trust your intuition and connect with your intuition, which also connects you into your spirituality. Okay? People around you are probably going to think you're nuts. Don't worry about what people around you think. Do what you need to do to be connected to who you need to be connected to. Okay? I want you also to take a look. He went uphill. He went on this powerful struggle to get to this cliff, to communicate with intuition and with the eagle, right? But he doesn't look exhausted, does he? He looks like he's in a state of Rappaport. He looks like he's in a state of ecstasy. He looks like he's in a state of rest, okay? So, if you've had any training with me of any sort, you know I push meditation. I push meditation to, like, extreme levels of meditation pushing. <laughs> Why do I do that? Because meditation, one, can connect you to your divinity, to your spirituality, to the divine as a whole, to your intuition. But second, meditation is, like, the highest level of sleep. It repairs the body. It repairs the mind. It refreshes you. So even if you are doing the hardest things possible, climbing up mountain after mountain after mountain, and I'm going to show you why I just said that. Climbing up mountain after mountain after mountain, that meditation is going to keep you rested. Being connected to your divinity, to your intuition, is going to help keep you rested. Okay? So... For your first trimester of 2019, you need to remember to rest 
And the reason you need to remember to rest is because you're going to have a lot of struggle. You're going to surpass all of the struggle, but you're going to have it. Okay? What is it? Can't tell you for sure because for each one of you, it's going to be something different. But trust your intuition. Trust your gut instinct. Trust your connection to your divinity. Right now, if you're not meditating, would be a wonderful time to be meditating. Okay? If you have trouble meditating, I do have some training for that if you're interested in it. Okay? Message me. Go to the website. Email. Whatever. May. May, your keyword is activation. I want you to take a look at this, okay? We have an old woman, an old man. I don't know for sure what it is. Right here, blowing wind. Every time I see this, I think the breath of life. You see that? And activating is turning something on. So what is she turning on with her breath? A lot of different healing techniques use breath to activate healing. Okay? Now, not only do we have the cold, cool aspect of air and water and breath, but we've got what to me looks like a dolphin. I always think this guy is a dolphin. Do you see this? We've got his little head, and here goes into one of his jaws, comes into the mouth, bottom jaw. Here's his little dolphin eye. And this one is looking like fire. Orange, yellow, pink, fire. All right? So then we're kind of left with, um, where's earth? Well, this is, also has some brown in it. So we've got fire and earth, water and air. This is the elementals all together in this card. And it's telling you activation, okay? So we've got activating all elementals in this card. We have activating the breath of life. Activating the breath. Now, a lot of meditation requires you to be very focused on your breath also. In order to activate the things I just told you in this card. The healing aspect, the being able to communicate to, medita um, to the divinity aspect, okay? So in May, you're going to be activating. <laughs> what are you activating? I can't tell you particularly because this reading is not for you particularly. This reading is for all of you, okay? But it will be activating. Be prepared. Make sure you only activate what you want activated. Don't go off activating everything because you think you're supposed to without being prepared and protected for it, okay? Um, June. Promise. Look at this card. No mountains. Well, there's some all the way over here, but that's far, far away. But no mountains, right? <laughs> um, the moon is... In its beginning state. Well, it's almost in its beginning state. It's kind of... If you know um, moon phases, it's going to be probably dark tomorrow on this picture, right? And then if the moon was showing visible on the other side, that's how it would be growing. Okay. Beautiful skies. There are some clouds. So we have some thoughts that are lingering... Um, probably some storms that were just cleared up. The water's got a little bit of movement in it, so maybe some emotional aspects. But it pretty much is saying that all of this stuff is done. You got through the storm. You got through the trial. And now, smooth sailing, right? Now, I know you guys are looking at the couple. Oh my god, Maria, does this mean I'm going to start a relationship? Very possible. But it could also mean you're starting a new relationship with yourself, your inner self, your higher self, the intuitive side of you, the calmer side of you, okay? If you, um, if you were a doormat a lot, sorry, it was blunt, but needed to be said. If you're a doormat a lot, you're going to have a stronger side of you now. Do you see so it could be a romantic relationship with somebody, but it could be a new relationship with yourself. Okay. July. For July, we have rain, purification. All right. So I know so many people who hate rainy days. It's depressing. It's gloomy. It's disgusting. It's sad. 
a lot of people are get achy during rainy days, humidity, the water, all of, you know, but I also know equal amount of people who love rainy days. I can't talk for all of them, but a rainy day is a purification, okay? Just like you take a shower to get clean, the earth, plants, flowers, rocks, um, trees, all of this, lakes, rivers, forests, everything, right? They can't go hop in the shower and turn on the shower and take a shower and get clean. They wait for the rain. The rain does so much. Not only does it cleanse, not only does it make the air smell better, it also brings life. All right? And what do I mean by that? Without water, 90%, hell 90, 100% of the population on earth, and I'm counting the trees, grass, animals, plants, okay? None of it can survive without water. Just like we can't survive without water. So, before you get upset, oh my god, it looks so horrible. No, it's actually very, very good. And then take a look at the moon over here hiding again. Are, have you been using your intuition? Hmm, Libra? Or is it trying to hide? Is it trying to peek out because you're refusing to acknowledge it? Take a look at the way the tree is over here. It's bare again. It looks like it's dying. But the trees over here all are growing leaves. What are you doing, Libra? That new promise from June? What are you doing with that new promise from June? And here's why. We've got some bare trees. We've got some bare trees. We've got some bare trees. And then it finally starts growing again. Hmm? What are you doing? August. August 2019. Ancient healing wisdom. Okay. <laughs> you might not like me, Libra, okay? If you don't like me for this moment, bear with me. Let's go on to the next month. I'm going to try to be quick on this one, okay? You have had an amazing year of growth so far. You've been learning to communicate and understand your intuition. You've been learning to communicate and understand everything around you pretty much, right? Especially connecting to your spirituality. There is stuff out there that you don't want to connect to. There is stuff out there that a lot of people think are great, and I would disagree. There's stuff out there that I think is great and a lot of people would disagree with, okay? So you need to know what it is you are doing. Remember back in May, that activation card? I told you make sure you're protected and make sure you're doing what you were activating. You understand what you're activating. It looks to me like in August, you might not have understood what you activated, okay? And you're probably going to need to find a shaman, you're probably going to need to find somebody who does ancient forms of healing to fix the activation that you didn't want. Okay? There are a lot of scam artists online. There are a lot of people who will take your buck and not care what they, what they do to you. There are a lot of people who will offer a reading of some sort but give an activation at the same time that you don't know about. Make sure you understand what you're getting into throughout the second semester, trimester of the year, okay? Make sure you know what's being activated and why it's being activated. And I'm going to tell you straight up, I do a lot of shamanic work. I do it on case-by-case -case basis. It's not on the website. If you trust me, wonderful. You can come to me. If not... I would suggest you start finding people that you are very, very comfortable with right now, but constantly remembering that stuff probably isn't going to go the way you want it to go. Okay? Okay. September. Grounding. All right. When you're doing a lot of meditation, you need to make sure you're grounded. There is a, um, 
ungrounded symptoms. When you do a lot of meditation, you start getting a lot of headaches. You feel like you're kind of floating everywhere. You're never really settled or centered or touching earth, right? This might be something completely new to you. This might be something you've already been experiencing. In order to stop that, you must ground. I'm not going to teach you in the web on this video how to ground. Okay, I might, because of this video, do a really quick lesson, mini lesson, and post it later on. Um, if you are interested in it and you're watching the video, remind me because my memory sucks. <laughs> um, and I don't have some place to take a note. But grounding. Make sure you are grounding, especially in September. If you've seen a shaman somebody who does ancient healings in August, make sure they teach you how to ground, okay? If not, I'm seriously going to try to have a grounding myth lesson. Really, really quick how to. Remind me if I don't. Um, October. I just pulled an ancestor card for October for one of the other signs. Okay, so Libra, your ancestors are really wanting you in September, in October to pay attention to them, to listen to them, to remember them. A dumb supper at the end of the year, at the end of the month would be great. Halloween is a very powerful time to remember your ancestors. It would be something really great for you. Um, your ancestors also understand the ancient ways of healing. They, sorry about that. I almost like dropped you. <laughs> They're not your ancestors like grandma, okay? Unless you're kind of up there in age, it's not going to be grandma. It's going to be six, seven generations back, okay? And you're going to say, Maria, how the heck do I connect with six or seven generations back in my, my family tree, in my ancestors' meditation? That's how you're going to do it. Um, you can start doing some genealogy sites. You can start building your family tree. You're going to really be feeling this potently in October, okay? That snake there, I'm saying, is the snake of knowledge. It's the snake of ancestry. It's the snake of the old ways, okay? And it's trying to lead you back into your ancestry. You can take it, you can leave it. Just because it was read in the cards does not mean it has to happen. You choose. Okay? But there it is. November. Libra, what's in November? Shape-shifting is the keyword for you. Okay. Shape-shifting. Most people think shape-shifting is werewolves. You're human. You turn into a wolf. Not always. And no, I'm not talking where tigers and where panthers and where foxes. <laughs> no. This card is yelling mental shape shifting, mental changing. Okay? Emotional. And look at we've got mountains again. So you have a way of thinking at this moment. That's probably been changing throughout the year by what the cards are saying. How quickly can you move from today's thoughts to August's thoughts, September's thoughts? Right now you're going to say, I don't understand. Come back in November and watch this section. Okay? Come back in November. Fast forward it if you want to. Watch this section. In order to keep the peace in order to keep emotional calm, spiritual calm, mental calm, especially during family get-togethers, you're going to need to pretend to be one thing. You're going to put on a persona of one thing. Nobody, honestly, nobody outside of yourself, and possibly, and not really, but possibly like your spouse, your children, need to know what's constantly going on in your head. Okay? Libra, you are a peacemaker. You understand this perfectly. The changes you're making this year, nobody needs to be privy on them. Keep the peace. Okay? Shift from what everyone is going to call darkness in you 
into nice fluffy whiteness. Be that shapeshifter for the month of November. December. Celebration. Yay, Libra. <laughs> well, I need to see this for just a second, okay? So it's work, 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 rest. Work, 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 work. Celebrate. Why are you celebrating? Because you got the work done. Okay? Why are you celebrating? Because you reached the goal. Why are you celebrating? Because you did it. So December. Look at how happy she's dancing. She is totally... Nobody is watching dancing, right? Or if you want it to be, everybody is watching and she's dancing. Whatever you like best, okay? Now, I want you to take a look at the landscape. There might be a hill very, 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 very far away. There's some fog very, 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 very far away. Her, um, her ground, it looks dead. It looks like there's nothing growing, but we're wrong. There is some grass growing. Okay, it's just a different kind of grass. It's a different way of seeing things. She's got all of these cowrie shells on her feet, <laughs> on her wrist, around her waist, maybe in that headdress. Looks like, what do cowrie shells do when they jiggle? They make noise. She's not just dancing. She's got the whole drum, the whole music around her dancing with her, okay? So, you celebrate, Libra. You celebrate whatever it is that you want to be celebrating and don't worry about anybody watching and don't worry about there not being any music because you're creating your own. Sorry, that stayed out of focus for a little while, didn't it? I'm sorry about that. Okay? I also love the fact that it's celebration when we usually celebrate all kinds of different holidays. Okay? All right. So, Libra. Libra sun. Libra rising. Libra Ascendant, which is the same thing as Rising. It's just a different way of saying it. Libra Moon. Your 2019 reading. It's got some work in store for you. But at the end of the year, you're going to celebrate it. You are, you totally rocked 2019. Okay? See what 2020 has in store for you guys. There are some things that you need to pay attention to. Be very, very careful with anything that's being activated, okay? Make sure you understand what is being activated. Besides that, you guys, we're going to have an awesome year. I count awesome as whenever there's growth, okay? You might think it sucks because of the growth, but I think it's awesome, and you can't change growth. All right, so if you loved this reading, hit that like bar. Share. Your best friend wants to know what's in store for her. Tell her that her sun sign is coming up if it's not already up. Okay? Subscribe. If this is your sun sign and you want to know what your moon sign is or what your rising ascendant sign is, subscribe so you know when it's up. If you don't know what those are and you want to find out, go to the website. I've got an offering for what's your sign, baby. It'll tell you what those three signs are. Okay? You can follow me here, of course, subscribe. Um, down there, I've got all of the information to the website, Facebook, Instagram, all of that sort of stuff. So you can stalk me if you want. <laughs> okay, I'm going to cut this video off now because it's getting long. Thank you so much for giving me about 34, 35 minutes of your day today. I really appreciate it, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye.